Hi, welcome to Central News for Wednesday the 9th of November. I'm Katrina McKinley. In today's news, 14-month-old twin Sativa Eagle in a year has accumulated over 1,000 beads for the number of treatments she has had since being diagnosed a year ago with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Mother Cherie Roos says Sativa's current state seems fine but doesn't quite understand why she has this diagnosis. Doctors are now putting this case to their up-and-coming conference. Well, things are all on hold at the moment because um, when we first found out she relapsed, she, um, the doctor said that we were, they weren't sure if there was anything that they could do because they knew that she wasn't able to get radiation and things like that. Um, but then they came back to tell us that yeah, there's something they can do and weekly lumbar punches were going to be the answer. But then our oncologist, her oncologist, came back from his holiday and he saw it and he just said, give me two weeks. I'll come up with a better game plan, I'll come up with something that's going to work and um, I'll put her case forward to worldwide oncologists and I'll hopefully find a study that, yeah, that will benefit her because her CNS has to be at zero to get the transplant but he doesn't feel that it will get that way through lemon punctures. You can support the family by donating to the bank account below. Thanks to the New Zealand Transport Agency, parents and caregivers now have access to a new tool to help them quickly and easily find a qualified professional to advise on the sale, rental and fitting of child restraints. The NZTA website has been updated with a new map that lists via region child restraint technicians that have been trained and certified. NZTA Acting Manager Network User Behaviour Jenny Giannotti says the safety of children in vehicles is of vital importance to the NZTA. To find a professional near you, head to the website nzta.govt.nz. New Zealand Law Society is warning New Zealand property lawyers about an email scam in which lawyers are asked to act on behalf of an Englishman for the purchase of a house at, a Pukahina, at Pukahina Beach. The Law Society's financial assurance manager, Diane Bradley, says the scam contains quite detailed information on the house and also includes a photo of a fake passport. The scammer, who identifies himself as Mike Gary, is contacting lawyers by email saying he lives in London and is moving to New Zealand with his family in a few months. Lawyers are advised not to engage in correspondence with the scammer. Impact Tauranga, an aunt house, has been around for 14 years and is very much a baby to manager Nin Martin, who tells Central News of one of the most outstanding success stories. Just thinking of one of the boys that was in an aunt house a few years ago, he was not only in aunt house but he was also in our, in our school. Um, probably one of the most angriest young boys that I've seen, continually punching the walls, getting angry, losing the plot. And um, I remember distinctly him barricading the lounge door and we were having to push it down just to be able to talk to him. Um, and he was with us for over a year um, in the school and then eventually moved on. A couple of, you know, just recently, so that would be three years later, he arrived at the door of um, the school one morning and I didn't recognise him, this tall, lovely looking boy standing at the door and I'm like, I'm not expecting anybody. And I was doing the morning talk so I couldn't just stop and greet him. And he um, waited until I was free and, and he said, hi Nan, I go... I won't say his name, <laughs> and I, I go, wow, I said, how are you doing? And he said, I'm great, he said, I'm studying as a teacher, I'm on my second year, I'm flashing down the road, and I'm a youth leader at one of the local churches around here, and I'm like, wow, that's awesome, he goes, I just wanted to come back and say, you know, it was a good time here, and thank you, and so, yeah, he would definitely have to be one of the success stories, but there's many, many, many success stories. Mm -hmm. Time to check out the region's weather. Fine spells for all today with rain developing in preparation for tomorrow. Both Hamilton and Tauranga can expect rain but it is going to be clearing. Both heading for highs of 22. Hamilton your low is 7 and Tauranga 10. Coming up after the break we hear how the buttermilk is remaining in Patarudu and exciting development happening there. Judy Alvos gives us an update on the Mail Model Awards fast approaching and it's not too late to register. And then we hear from Deborah Mahuta Coyle who chats to us about the upcoming elections. Join me after the break.